Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back for part two of my little art doll Christmas ornament, and I'm very excited. This is super, super cute. So I'm going with a vintage theme, and in part one, we cut the wood out of a wooden coaster, um, gessoed and prepped it, and then I Mod Podge some um, art journal paper, or whatever it's called, scrapbooking paper, right? And the next thing I'm going to do is I, I did give the sides a coat of paint and I'm going with silver and gold but man I was tempted because I have this glitter this is a recollections embossing powder it's called sparkle powder and it's blaze and it's so pretty but I'm gonna go with my silver and gold and there may be another couple um, angels in my future or maybe a Santa or Mrs. Santa I don't know um, but for this one, because I gessoed this, I just went with straight paint. But this one, um, I did not gesso. I just Mod Podged on the um, paper. So I'm just going to take a little bit of sealer, and I use the all-purpose sealer by Joe Sonia, but I'm sure that comes in other brands, right? And a little bit of gold paint. And just mix it into the color. So I'm going to put the sealer into the color and metallic paint is um, translucent. It is not opaque so this won't completely coat to an opa opaque finish but I'm going to emboss on top of it. I just wanted to make sure it the wood was sealed. I don't know. And I see a little bit of paper. It looks like the paper might be coming up a bit and I like to keep it kind of neat looking on the edges but it's okay if a little bit goes up over the edge. So, and I'm just gonna do one coat of the sealer plus a little bit of gold. And I think this is DecoArt um, Dazzling Metallics paint, and that's a good brand. But I have other brands. Oh, what, use what you have, It's what I say. Oh, see, I went really hard <laughs> on the edge there. And I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and a little moisture because I coated this with Mod Podge it'll come right off because it's not dry yet so um, I just want it to look neat and then I'll I'll be more purposeful with anything that comes over the edge this is the front this is the back so I'm just going to be a little gentler and that is not my nature but I just want to give that a coat and I'm kind of out of sealer just want to make sure and boom done and it didn't get on the top see for some reason I'm getting it but the top looks good this is the back so I'm just gonna take a wet wipe this time because it's sitting right here and this paper I think is a, I said it was um, in the last video, um, it's a good quality paper. It's a, a double-sided, um, the name is just escaping me because I don't have the cover on the paper pad, it's on the floor. Um, but it's kind of like a fabric-y, no this one was, this one was more fabric-y. Okay babe, you should be okay, it's not that cold. All right, I'll see you in a bit. But look how cute. So I wanted to do one silver and one gold. And I'll use silver um, um, accents and different things. I also want to do the wings. And you can do your wings white. Like I actually have, I'm just going to set this on here. I have a white pearlized paint that would look super pretty super duper pretty um, like here look this is just a little snowflake that's um, chipboard and I probably painted this white and then used a glitter are you going to work? Yeah, see there. okay babe a glitter embossing powder on it it's it was in my stash finished but I just pulled it out to see but so this is the type of finish that would go on a wing really really pretty right so I could paint those white and then do that I mean that actually I might have to do but I could even put this on an ornament right 
I mean, come on. And then I had a button. So I, I kind of went through my stash a little bit. Um, I'll get to it. But I have a button. So the snowflake button could go in the middle. Or just a big bling or anything. A picture. You could put a light. A jingle jangle. I don't know. Whatever you want to put. Um, but I'm just showing you the finish on that. That would look really pretty for a wing. So I'm debating what I want to do for that. So for right now, I just want to get these sides. And you know what? Honestly, it looks good enough without embossing it. I think I'm going to emboss the gold and the silver I might leave plain. So, but anyway, these are my wings. And I got these wings at Michael's and I bought several packs of them when I was there. Because I, I never know when I'm going to need them or want them for a project. I also put a coat of, and this is called AC Flesh, specifically by Ceram Coat. But I have lots of flesh colors. I have a, this is called Dark Flesh, which I'll probably shade with um, Caucasian Flesh. But you could use mochas and make your skin tones darker if you want a darker angel or a really white like a really a luminescent skin tone or something but I did prep that again um, I had put gesso on here so I just painted so far this has one coat but I am gonna go with I'm gonna just draw my face on I'm gonna paint it on okay but you guys can use a stamp. I happen to have lots of these different ones. And I ended up, I think I would go with the Peachy Keen. I think she's a little too animated for me. I love it. It's adorable. Her eyes are closed and she's sweet. But I think I want to make it a little more cutesy and vintagey and like old school. Whatever. Um, but this would work just fine. And you could stamp it directly to the piece. It comes in all the different sizes. But what I would do is stamp this onto a piece of um, deli paper, which I actually have the Bill um, Dick Blick. This is a regular piece. And then you can decoupage this down so that you know you're going to get a good impression and everything turns out, I mean, maybe I can do one one way and one the other. But for today, I'm just going to do it pan painted. And um, these aren't matching. Um, so that's just ready to go. I also pulled some felt. And I have this felt in my stash because I, I got it for my granddaughter a while ago. Oh, I also found these stamps. These are the Diane, the Dina Wakely stamps I was looking for. I just don't think they're appropriate, but that's not to say that you couldn't stamp this out or any other faces that you have in your stamp collection. Again, I would probably stamp it onto some type of a, a clear deli paper or something and adhere it on there and then do your shading and highlighting. But there are other face stamps out there. I'm just going to wing it and I'm going to make her a cute little, my own little angel. All right, so I did grab a few felt pieces too. So um, hair comes in all shades, and I think this is a kind of a prettyish reddish brown. I for some reason, I mean, I think it's similar to my hair color, but I think I'm going to put this on the back of the head, and then I'll just cut two little pieces for the front as well and glue them on and then glue a piece around the sides and you know she could have earrings um, but you know she's an angel I, I mean you could just glue two little Swarovskis on the side and then I think I'm gonna add oh along with a hanger you're gonna have to put probably and I'm gonna connect all this I'm gonna connect these with eye screws which are just like a little round eyelet hole but I'm going to screw it into the wood and I probably won't even use my Dremel I'll just use this little awl I have it's called Tolan station it's just an, an awl basically and I'll pre I'll push this through and get a little um, starter hole and I'll do two in the bottom for her legs and I'll do two at the shoulders for her arms and um, 
actually this is the front they both could be the front right now this one definitely is going to be the front on this one um, so that's what I'm thinking there. I got to get my wings. I have to figure out what I what type of finish for my wings. And I don't know if I said it in the last video, but I'm gonna have to go get a couple more of these because I liked this is two discs glued together. I like the thicker look of this when it was all said and done. And I chose to um, use the, I have the bigger ones, but, and it's fine, but this just seems like a much shorter dress. This just seemed more proportionate. So she's going to go like this, something like this. And what else? So the halo will be made out of wire, and I have a lot of different gauged wire. So a firm, yet something that's pliable that you can work with. So um, when I work with that, I'll show you. So maybe we'll do the wire and the beading in a separate video. So for right now, I really just want to finish my wings. And I don't know. I think I am going to emboss this. So let's go ahead and emboss. I'm going to emboss all, the, all four surfaces of the edges. And then do I want, I kind of do want white wings with this glitter. And I think this is an embossing powder as well. I have a little collection of embossing powder, not a ton, but I think I use this on it. This is called Stardust Transparent. So I need to paint the wings. I'm going to paint these with a coat of the pearlescent paint. And then I'm going to use this embossing powder on them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So then we're going to do gold embossing on the edges. And I'm not sure if I'm going to stamp it on there. I kind of want to. But it's not that wide. So what I mean is, if I... Uh, this art doll doesn't have it. I'm going to grab a different art doll. Let's see. So she has embossing on the side, but see, it's not as thick. And what I did was I painted, well, I, maybe I didn't, um, but I did emboss it probably with clear, and then I rubbed a bunch of different um, metallic rubs on here. So either um, these guys, rub and buff, or um, Inca Gold, so, and I made these a while ago. I don't know if I even signed it, but I embossed the back too, and then I just rubbed, so you get a different effect, and depending on what, um, like this didn't come out as clear, so my stamp was kind of, the ink got all over the place, so it didn't give you an impression that was as perfect, but, um, I love that effect. I just don't know that it'll be worth it on such a thin piece of wood. So I'm thin and I'm going to thin about that. But while I go, when I go, I'll let you know when I come back, I'm going to paint these with the pearl white and I'll be ready to emboss that with the glitter. I'm going to get a second coat on my face so that we can get started with that and we'll emboss and paint the face. All right. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back, but I just wanted to show you something. I, you know, you get these little wings, and this one, I was just too, you know me, I say it all the time, I'm way too rough, but it's all very intricate, and when I did my um, gesso, I was too sloppy, and I kind of, you know, made lumps and bumps inside this intricate little detail, and I don't want it like that, so I'm just taking my little all here before I paint it and kind of cleaning it up a little bit and being gentle as <laughs> trying to be gentle ow I'll, I'll poke myself in the finger but I love these wings and the other I couldn't find it it had fallen off my desk over there and I thought I was out of luck but um, I love this one because it looks like leaves and I'm going to show you I'm going to use it on the one with the poinsettia. All right, that looks better. 
but then what I so what I decided to do so that I wouldn't do that to myself again fill in all these holes is use a sponge so instead of painting them I gesso is a thick gloppy um, it's ta it's like um oops stab my finger again anywho it's toothy so it's sticky and bad I found another pair of um, wings so I have one here's the other pair see I like this with this one I'm gonna use that for this one because this is like gardeny has you know foliage I mean this so is this but anywho um, here's what I did I just took a little cosmetic sponge and this is the white pearl paint and I just sponged it and you can see the difference right away it's so it's it's a metallic basically but when it's a color like this they call it pearl but it's not um, a metal color that's my take on it so I just sponged it in this way I will avoid hopefully um, and I'm doing this edges but I did do a coat of gesso on these first. The, the other ones, see these are raw. And because I used white acrylic gesso, it has that white backing to it, so this won't be as sheer. But these metallic pearl paints tend to be sheer, so you could, if you don't want to emboss, you should do probably at least two coats. Where's my all? It's funny how, you know, things just disappear right in front of my, oh, they roll away. Right in front of your very eyes, okay. So yeah, this looks a little, I will tweak this before I finish it because I kind of don't like that it's getting all goopy in there. No one's going to care. Oh my God, I'm being a little too particular. So, um, all right, get it all over the place. That's just what I wanted to show you, okay? But look, it's so pretty already. All right, but wait wait there's more all right so I'll let that dry and then we'll go ahead and do the other pair of wings that I'm going to use for this guy so um my tummy's growling what do I want this the glistening glittery I'm gonna grab a piece of deli paper just to kind of collect or to you know what to use the embossing um, it's a very sticky ink, so I'm going to get my embossing buddy, which has kind of got like a little powder in it. And then you need a clear ink, and I'm going to use Versamark. Versamark ink, which is a clear watermarks ink. I don't know. And then this. This is by Stampin' Stuff, and I think I got it at a scrapbooking store a while back. And let's see, so I'm going to do, they go like this. I like my wings like that. I don't think they go like that. They go like this. So this is like, yeah. All right, and I have a birdie, so anywho. All right, but I don't want to get the embossing ink all over the place. Um, you really don't need the embossing buddy, I would say, because we're doing it all over. So you're just going to take this and get the ink, coat the whole wing with the ink and then sit it down and I'll do this side this time and then I don't think I'll do the back because you don't want to waste your embossing powder if it's on the back I mean it already looks kind of pretty with the um yeah we're good I'm just going to do the fronts right oh geez all right then you sprinkle, and you're going to need an embossing gun, a heat tool, to, um, see now I'm stuck, to put this, to get it to adhere onto the surface. But this will stick it, so this gets it stuck, and then we're going to melt it onto the surface. OMG, does that look delicious already? And I mean, you could probably do this with glitter as well. I mean, you can use stickles. You could just put stickles. You could paint it and just put stickles all around it. 
but I have it, so I'm just going to use it. I should have probably done this with a piece of paper. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm going to put your extra back in your thingy-majabi. And then, let's emboss. Um, if I... I should have my, um, my craft mat down because that is heat resistant. And I'm going to warp everything in my way, but whatever. That's how I roll. So this is a heat gun. And I tend to turn it on and let it get hot. And then I'll go right down to here and it will melt. Let's watch the action happen. And because it's glittery, I'm not sure, like, the exact moment when it dries. I think when it gets shiny is a good end indication. Like, instead of being dry looking, it looks shiny. That's when it's melted. And you can kind of remelt it. It won't hurt it, so I'm just going to go over it one more quickly. All right. I mean, but come on. Look at that. Oh my God. It makes me so happy. And then I'm going to glue these on to the back of my piece. And that's the other thing about it. So it is two-sided and it won't look bad. I'll do it neatly. And then, yeah, that'll just show. But look how gorge. Oh my God, it just makes me so happy. We're gonna emboss this with gold now. So let me move this out of the way and I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. And we're gonna do the same thing with gold embossing powder. And I didn't think, I mean, if I texture it, what can I, I mean, I could just use words or uh, 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 it doesn't matter. I think we're just, because if I use words, um, just looking in my stash, I have a little hard, like it's just too thin. I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go full force. I'll just do one side and then I'll go off camera and I'll finish that and I might have done the top didn't I yeah see how it sticks oh my god I am so happy <laughs> this just makes me happy very very happy I've had a good day today Joe and I went to Pandora in the city to the outlet and my husband, he treated me good. So I'll share my haul after Christmas. I can't open it yet. I'm just feeling good too, but my, my hip does hurt today because I went, I'm, I have a personal trainer now. I've gone to her twice. I went twice last week. Because I'm trying to um, do a lot more toning. And she's 57 and I'm 53. And man, she killed me yesterday. But it was so fun. I really, really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, I think I'm feeling my hip is feeling. It. Like I don't know why it's... Um, Right now, I'm sorry, this is like, it has little um, pills. Wait. Just seeing if I can get it to smooth out a little bit. I may be making more bubbles. I think I made more bubbles. Look, I bubbled it. I bubbles it. Oh my God, it's gorge. I'm doing the other two sides. All right, so I'm going to finish this. I don't like the bubbles. I'm not going to be as hot next time. And I'm going to come back and we'll do the face. So I'll show you how I'm going to do my face. And you can, like I said, use a stamp. You can use a paint, like a, 
decoupage, like a, a downloadable. Oh, look, look, look. These are things. They have these in the cut apart sheets and stuff. Like, what if you have a sweet little thing like that? So I just cut a little bottle cap and um, I used Dimensional Magic in there. And so there are ways to get a face on here if you're really super scared to paint it. But we'll just do it. Oop, all right. We'll just do it simple and um, really, really folk arty. So it won't be a big deal. But I am going to float. So I'll be back and we'll work on that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to eat dinner. And now, excuse my nails, because I'm taking off my gel manicure by myself. <laughs> and uh, Joe's going to help me. But I wanted to finish her face because, look, it's looking so cute so far right so the next video i'll come back after i'm going to do her face real quick and like i said you guys you can use um a dec a decal a sticker a stampable a stamp uh, uh, not a stampable a printable a stamp a magazine a polymer clay i got a um suggestion to do polymer clay so which is so smart but i'm gonna paint mine and i'm just like i said i'm just gonna do it really basic okay and this is my second attempt so before dinner i was a little tired but i'm back i just want to get I'm, i want to continue this it's super cute just giving it a little sanding so this is just based in with i think i used ac flesh yeah um so what I'm going to do is, you know what we're going to do first? I think I've already um, traced a circle of hair. You know, let's do another one because I'm going to use brown. It will get on my piece, but I'm going to glue this to the back. So I'm going to cut this one out, and I my tonic scissors worked really well. Oh, there's a sticker under there. Huh. Anywho, um, so I am going to glue this to the back of her head. And it doesn't have to be exact, but bigger would be better. And I think I've already gone to the inside of it. So I'll, I'll do it off camera more precise. But you really just want to cut out. I don't know if... Um, dies cut felt I've never tried it so I'm going to glue this to the back of her head and then I cut these the same way I just traced the circle and then cut two little pieces of hair out of the circle to glue on the front and then I'll do a little a piece that goes around it and cover that so just a strip like you'll just kind of eyeball it so it's about like this wide ish right um that should be enough I don't know um and then we'll cover that part that's almost perfect right then this And the little, I mean, you could give her bangs. Bangs would look cute, but I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to go off camera and get that all glued. And I wanted to do that before I paint so that I can just really, I don't, I was getting too, like, see, I brought him over. This is my steampunk art gentleman. And, you know, this is a painted face. So that's why I'm saying use what you have. Now, this is a printable. So you can use so many things. Um, I showed you this, this little guy. These are little downloadables, right, that you can get from Etsy stores and things like that. But I am going to paint them this time. But like I said, then um, Maryville said um, I could do a polymer clay face, glue a little face on here from a mold. Um, anywho, so I am going to um, glue this all together first, and then I'm going to come back and paint. I'll be right back. Might as well just share. I try to make it shorter, and really, it's not rocket science. So here's the back. I already did. 
I'm going to I have that mar marker on there but I'm gonna cover most of it and I think I'm using Fabri-Tac I love Fabri-Tac it's my go-to for fabric but I think I want to match that up so I'm gonna put these on first these little pieces so I'm just gonna take let me see if there's a rounder side um, yeah so like this side's the rounder side that goes up against the um, the edge of the circle and there should be a rounder side to this I think it's that side let's see nope it's the other side so I'm gonna make sure it's not looking right I'll cross it over like that I don't mind I think that looks kind of cute all right so you're just gonna do your own thing really um, one of my art dolls my big art dolls that I did I put metal um, hair on it it was a steampunk girl and it is so cool all right so I overlap that and I could put a little bow or a bling or something but I wanted to do this after so that I can kind of measure and be like okay I think I'm gonna cut this right about there so let me put some glue uh, this side and oh a glue gun is fine I prefer this tacky glue it is very tacky it's sticky this is not called tacky glue it is called fabric tack but I really like the tackiness of it and it you it gives you a minute to to, to move things around if you need to where a glue gun kind of you know you stick it and it dries and whatever I, it's never been my go-to adhesive it's good for certain stuff and then I'm gonna take it to here and then we're gonna oops I don't want glue on the face all right I'll get it in a minute um and cut something like that so this side is way up a little higher all right And that one good thing about a glue gun is it comes out right away and it's it's like immediate all right and that's kind of I'm just crunching it together so that it doesn't leave a gap but it's kind of leaving a gap but it's okay crunching that's a definitely a, a crafting term I actually want to cut this a little more there we go and then I'll have to paint over that. Um, all right, now we're going to paint. Let me put the lid on that. Sometimes stuff like this, like, and I really don't want to get too elaborate, guys, but I've been known to do it, to be elaborate. So I'm really just going for the simple face here. So the first thing I want to do, I'm, I got out some, let's just do asphaltum for the line work. So let's just put her little face on with the, oops, with asphaltum and just a liner brush. And I have a little, like a number 10 slash zero. And I'm going to get the paint wet, like, you know, nice so that it, it moves and it's not just a clump. And let's give her, 
little eyelids right now when you do a face here let me just do I did a little demo see I told you I did it once before you do a cross and the eyes go here like even apart the note then you do again and the nose goes here you do again and the mouth goes here so that's proportion on a face believe it or not it looks a little weird but our eyes are not up here so I'm going to use that um, model and just kind of go across and she's going to have closed eyes. I don't really want to use the pencil. I'm just going to go in. I'm not afraid. I'm not scared. And now I just got pencil marks all over everything. I take it so seriously, don't I? All right. So I'm just going to take my little liner brush that I just had ready to go and that asphaltum and I'm just going to put those features in with the paint. So we'll do a closed eye here and a closed eye here. Oopsie. My brush wasn't loaded correctly and look it's splitting. My brushes are crap. I never did order um, the brushes that um, Tracy, I said when I was making my little um, random acts of kindness, Tracy Moreau had suggested a certain, I'm not going to do it in brown, oh, eyebrows, um, and I wanted to get them. So I'm going to turn her over, and it's not centered, but I'm going to go, now listen, you don't want angry eyebrows. Don't go up. They need to be arced down like this, so in this direction. Maybe the hair first is not a good idea, but I like it. And then the nose, I'm just going to do a little like that. And then the mouth I'll do with, um, I have this Mendicino, is it Mendicino? One of those, chocolate cherry, just a nice dark berry color. And put a little smile, just a smile. A little smile. Does that look cute or is it a little? I don't know. And then I don't like that smile. See, so usually I should know what I'm doing before I try to tell you guys, but sometimes it's nice to see the mistakes and then you can kind of understand that it doesn't go well every single time I do it either and just go with it and play and fix and you can fix it so let me say just a little smile I like that or should she be solemn face we can make a little heart shaped lip too that's cute I like that all right, stop. Now, you could shade and highlight and get crazy. So I'll probably do, let me, I have to fix this eyebrow. Um, shading and highlighting and all that stuff. Let's give her a little bit. You know what? I don't want to do it. I'm going to give her eyelashes. But I dry brushed on some cheeks earlier. And I used a really bright pink. Let's see. I think I'm going to tone it down a little bit with the rouge. This is more of a coral. I used bubblegum pink the first time, which looked super cute. But what you want is a clean brush, a dry clean brush. And I'm going to take this paint. Maybe I'll do a little now. All right, let's just do it with the rouge. See how pink the pink was? I don't like that color. Maybe red, just true red, like country red. No, I'm going to go, I don't know. All right, I want to go pink. I think the pink look really cute. I just can't make decisions. Um, but yeah, I could just glue a, a flower in her hair or something. So it's so fun. This is the next video I'm going to do will be when we finish up and accessorize. So I've pounced the color onto the brush. Now I'm going to pounce it off the brush, so there's very little on here, and gently scrub on a little cheek, 
gently, right? Isn't that precious? Oh, so precious. Little hairs. But you need it dry. If you, if you did this and the paint is wet, it's just going to be a mess. So cute. And then I will shade. I have the shading flush, but I think it was way too dark when I did it the first time. So I'm going to tone that down a little bit and just mix. I'm going to do a brush mix, actually, of the shading flush, the darker color, and the base color that I use. Because I really just don't want it. I don't want her that dark. Angels are kind of luminescent, right? Or, um, all right. So here's the base color. Put a little bit of that down. I know you can't see what I'm doing. And then a little bit of the shading flush. And I'm mixing the two so that they weren't as dark as the first time. It was just overwhelming. And I'm going to attempt to do a little shading, just like on her, up around here maybe, kind of under her hairline, so you can't even see that. good because we're going to highlight a little bit too. How about her chin? I should go under her mouth a little. See look, he was a very, a lot more elaborate painted face so you can get a really nice, really fun, right? But I'm just trying to make this cute and I, I can't stop myself. I kind of want to do something right here to give the illusion that there's some shading and that didn't go well. I think keeping it simple is the best bet, but that looks good. That looks good. And then we'll just highlight with like buttermilk. Uh, my paint all dried up. So this is buttermilk. And I'm just going to put a little highlight like on her eyelids. See, there should be a little darkness in here. Let me see. And then we'll highlight. I just want to try and see what happens. I'm working so small, but right in here there would be shading. Right? In that kind of, even for an angel. And maybe right here on her chin. It's so crooked, Sarah. But it's cute. And then I'm going to highlight with buttermilk and put some lashes and maybe a highlight on her lip. But she's cute. I think she's cute. All right, so what am I doing? Light buttermilk or buttermilk or whatever it is. Like right here. Oh, that's maybe too light. Oh, well, that looks good. That looks okay. And maybe down her nose a little. My brush is splitting. Ugh. Yeah, so I said I never got the new brushes or ordered brushes because I don't paint all the time and like I used to. Oh, that looks good. And then a little highlight on her lip. So I'll make or do a little pink. I like to touch it so that it doesn't. I'm, I'm mixing it with. I'll mix it with the flesh color. That's too fleshy. It's so small. That's all I need to do. All right, and then we're going to put little lashes on. I just have to fix her brows, too. For some reason, they're not popping. She should have nicer brows than that because she's, she's an, an angel, for goodness sake. All right a black, little black lashes. And that's it. And I am going to add some varnish to this so that it's not going to get messed up or um, damaged and it will stay. So let's just give her
Hey, when you're doing lashes, it's okay if your brush, brush is splitting. And mm, I think that's good enough. Can you see her? I don't know. Maybe a little tiny white dot over here and here. Good enough. So, what do we got here, kids? We have, so in the next video, I'm gonna varnish that, and I'll probably just use matte, a matte varnish. Do I have one here? Because I have sparkle varnish, don't wanna do that. I don't think so. I'm just gonna use a plain matte varnish, and I'm probably just gonna touch this up. I don't like the looks of it, even though it won't show. Um, and I'm going to glue her little arms on. I'm probably going to use E6000. And then I'm going to look for and be prepared for my next video. I'm going to be assembling the beads to put just little feet on here. Won't be too long. And her arms. So I'm hoping one of these strands, whoopsie, will give me two arms and two feet. So I'm looking forward to that. So the next video will be that. I'm going to make, I found all these halos, but these were for my little polymer clay angels. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry, that's not good. Um, but she needs a bigger one. So I got my, where'd I put it? I will have, the, I'm going to use gold, here it is, right in front of my face. This is called, by Doris, it's non-tarnishing gold, 20 gauge wire. So we're going to make her a halo. And I have to find my little eye screws, but I think I have a, um, a smaller gauge. These are the Tim Holtz ones. And look at the difference. So these are what I used on him. You see this? It's a much smaller gauge, so I definitely want to find them. And I know for a fact that they sell them, the little ones, in the wood aisle of my AC Moore. So I know that I can get them there. They're just little, so I'm going to use one, two, three, four, and put them in. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to say. Um, you, you can antique this and do whatever you want to it. I think I want to assemble her before I finish her up. I'm going to use E6000, that's what I started to say, to glue my wings. And then I'm going to attach all, oh, and so I'm going to need actually one, two, three, four, five of each of these for, for each doll. Because I'm going to attach her head with another one. Like I said, I hope this doesn't split on me, and I don't think it will. Um, I'm going to make starter eye holes or whatever they're called um i'm gonna just use an awl and give it a little start you can use a dremel but that did plenty and then you'll be able to just screw those eye screws in um oh i was gonna show you this is something that i bought it's called gilder's paste and this is the rust color and i'm pretty sure i got this on amazon it's a wax based medium used to highlight metal wood ceramics polymer clay bisque whatever um i got it for when i did my art dolls and this is what it looks like i she used it on all the edges and i like it because i'm doing a um this piece is what did i say vintage right so let's see what it looks like because I haven't used it in a while so it looks pretty good I'm just gonna take some and go around the edge I don't think it needed it it kind of looked nice without it but I I'm gonna do it and listen this is the trial and error thing and you just kind of Decide what you like and don't like along the way. You know, I, I kind of, I don't mind it. It's like when you would ink the edges of all your pieces of an art journal, right? I like it. I think I like it. Um, I'm also thinking about adding 
some embellishments to this. So what you should do is gather up any little embellishments that you have, depending on the theme that you're working with. I, ha I happen to have, I told you the package. This is a, I don't think it goes well with this um, vintagey theme. It's a little, it's pretty good. I mean, the green is so bright, but I did also pull some buttons. So for say this one, which has the poinsettia. Hello, I have poinsettia buttons. So maybe I'll put a poinsettia on that one. Or see there's packages in here. This is just called Christmas Eve. These little packages might suit this more proportionate. It's a small, not that a big package isn't good too. Um, so I have those. There's little glasses in here that I thought would be adorable. Let's see if these fit. I mean, they're Santas, right? I don't know which way they would go. They're almost the perfect size. Angels don't wear glasses, right? I'll have to save these for my Santa, for my Mrs. Santa. There's mittens in here. So, I mean, you could end up on your little arms you could hook a mitten. There's a hat. Oh, I didn't, I've had these forever. Um, you could hook a mitten to the end of your, like if you made a Mrs. Santa. So I found those. What else? I have bells. Where's my bells? Uh, see, I went and ate dinner and I, I was gathering every, oh, here they are. I have beads, so ouch. You're also going to need jump rings. That was the other thing. So to attach... You're going to have your eye screws, but then you're going to attach it with a jump ring like this. So see, this is wire, jump ring, eye screw. Um, the heads were attached with a dowel on them. But um, for this, we're going to need jump rings. So I have jump rings in here. I also had like made with love heart charms and stuff like that so I could I might hang that on there so here's my jump rings bells I thought we could hang so she's my gold one maybe I'll put little gold bells at the bottom of her feet and I have these little small ones which I think are more suitable because this is petite right um, and I just have different jewelry findings for when we string the beads for the arms. I have gold and silver and then this is my Christmas box. So look at these bells which I think are just a little big. But I have silver bells, green, and red. All different types of like these little charmy beads. These I think were actually, I mean how cute. I could just make this but they're so bright. But maybe if I had two silvers, right? Cute. This is a, one of those cheesy bracelets that you get, but it has little charms and a star. So cute, too. Snowflakes. More bells. These are like little boots. So maybe for her feet. Oh, my God. <gasps> but I don't know how I would attach it. But that's adorable. I might have to do that. There's just green, um, red, and then this is the only, I don't know if they'd match, but anywho. Oh, no, I have more. So, gather up that type of stuff. What else did I want to tell you? And then I'm probably definitely, I say probably definitely going to be doing stickles on here. And I'm going to use dimensional paint for these little, uh, or you could put gems in the middle of your poinsettia. Um, this one's definitely, this one I think I pulled, like this lace, let me move my paint. Um, I, ha I really love this. I think I might want to put this on the bottom for sure, probably up here too. But I'm going to look, I'm going to look through. I have lots of trims and ribbon and pearls. And so now's the time for you to go crazy pulling all your embellishments there was one really pretty, like this is like a tinsel. Look at this. So on a more Christmassy one, I mean, just come on, right? 
I think I have a silver of this too. So, oh, and then I had this little bag of all different charms. So I'll see what's in there and maybe give her a necklace or something. So this is just my Christmas stash from seasons past and I kind of keep it all in one bin so I know where to look. Um, and so that's all I've pulled for right now. Like, but this definitely, I think, come on. What about this way? I think I might do it that way. <gasps> I don't even know if this is gold or silver. I can't really tell. Let's see if, what it says. Gold. I'm using it. I'm going to do it. So yeah, so the next video will be all about all the finishing little stuff. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to put some varnish on her and I'm going to fix this where I got the Sharpie because, I mean, I was just trying to think of something to mark the felt with that would, um, but like she could have a little something in her hair. Like why not a candy cane or what else? Like maybe a candy cane? I mean, she's not, that's not real vintage, but I'll go through and I'll find something that's a little more vintage, maybe in here. These are all silver, but I might have a gold something, a bow, just a pearl. So I'll have a look and I'll be back. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Let's put it together. Here. This is where we're at. I love her. All right. So we'll be back to finish up. Thanks for watching.